Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a budget video for paycheck number two, um, and that's for October 15th to the 29th. So just in case you're new here, my name's Cassandra. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. And I'm just gonna to explain to you a little bit about what this uh, is about, basically. So I'm doing the 100 envelope challenge. As you can see, my numbers are in this little bucket here. And I'm tracking it in my book. And I'm pulling two numbers per paycheck, and that will allow me to save $5,000 in about two years. And that money is going toward an emergency fund. So we're really gonna try not to touch that money. I also have savings I do on top of this, but what I do is deduct those savings before I do this little budget breakdown. So, and also we are a single income family. Only my husband works here in Yellowknife Northwest Territories, Canada. He works at the hospital and his paycheck varies. So he makes a different amount every paycheck. And so I just have to break it down and see what I'm gonna do with it every time. And so that's what I share here with you guys. The only reason I don't divulge my savings is because he isn't comfortable with me sharing exactly how much he makes. He's a very private person, uh, whereas I'm like totally the opposite. So this is kind of the compromise that we came to. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. As always, feel free to leave your comments below if you have a question. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and you are interested in sort of day-to-day -day life here in Yellowknife. I make a lot of videos about that and homeschooling, as well as I'll show you the food that I get with my food portion of the budget. I do some grocery hauls and food challenges. So if that all sounds good to you, I would love it if you would subscribe and also like this video. So I think we can go ahead and get started. So the amount we're working with this month is, or this paycheck, and this is a three paycheck month. So this is gonna be the smallest paycheck, which is right in the middle. So as you can see, I don't have all of the same bills that I normally do on here, and it's because either they're not urgent, they're not coming out during this pay period, and they can be covered with the check on the 29th, or because um, they're just, yeah, they're just not urgent. That's actually the only reason why they're not gonna be on here. So the amount we're working with on this paycheck is $2,030. And again, I'm here in Canada, so this is all in Canadian dollars. So let's go ahead and pull out that envelope challenge number. I'll flip to that page so you guys can see what numbers I've got so far. I'm thinking it's gonna be two high ones this time. <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to stock up for winter as well. So I'm hoping for kind of a high food budget at the in, in these fall months still. Okay, we've got 79. One more. Let's see. 79 and 32. Okay, that's not terrible. Let's color those in over here. So yeah, I was hoping for kind of a a high food budget because I take this out of my food budget. That's the only budget right now I feel comfortable taking it from. So I just kind of work around it. Now our food budget includes restaurants as well as food. And I totally went over last month. If you guys saw my grocery haul, not last month, last paycheck. If you watched my grocery haul, you'll see I went to the store like a hundred times um, after I showed you my initial haul. <laughs> it was just, I don't know. And we got a lot of takeout and stuff. So Hopefully we are just trying to get better at that. We're not perfect. So we took a bit of that money from the savings that we would have saved that month. So I would like to pretend that we just do not have that money there. That's how I want to do this budget so that I can actually build those savings. So we've got 32 and 79. What is that? I know my math is awesome. It is 111. I guess I'll move my Hmm, I don't know, I'll have to move my calculator in the shot when I'm using it, but that is $111 that I will be deducting. All right, so we flipped back to our um, regular page here. So we've got 79 and 32 this time, and that equals 111. So that's what we'll be deducting from our food budget. I'll just do that first. Our food budget is always $500. So I'll just take away 111 and that leaves us with 389. Okay, so I'm gonna take the half of the rent out of this one and that will not have to come out of the next paycheck, which will be fantastic. We should be able to save quite a bit. 
we've got fast offering and half of that is 25. Now this is an amount that we pay to our church. We fast once a month and pay that money. It goes to people local in need basically. This is my husband's phone and the next one is mine. They are both the same cost and I just cut them in half so that one isn't coming out of a whole paycheck. The reason I cut these monthly bills in half is because all there are so many things that come out the first or in that first pay period that it wouldn't make sense to take them all out of the first period, pay period and have that whole check gone or have that check not even cover these things. So I just put cut them in half and that way I know that they're covered and I know that I'll have enough money for food and stuff and you know it's not too tight. So then we've got the electric bill. For some reason I haven't received that yet. Normally I would know if that's over 200 yet and I could add it to this, but I don't know yet. So I'm gonna hope it's under 200 and it should be because we haven't been using our air conditioner um, or anything else that may rack that up. Uh, what else racks that up in the winter? Is it the heat? I don't know, anyway, that tends to be higher in the winter too. So anyway, um, I'm gonna hope that that covers it. So then I forgot to take these out last period, pay period. I did actually, I was actually supposed to do that um, last time. And because they're such small bills, I do take them out when they're due. So the Kindle is 12 and the Red Hatted House, this is 13. This is just a weekly scripture kit that I subscribe to online. Um, then we've got the food. I, what I do also, in case you guys don't know and I haven't said this before, is I actually just put everything on credit and then pay it off um, afterwards. So like either literally right that day or you know when we get paid next on Friday I'll pay off the credit cards just to make sure every two weeks they're getting paid off at least. Like I said sometimes it's like literally every day but um, I do that so I can get PC points. If you guys aren't familiar with the PC points program I highly suggest you check it out. It's awesome. We save or we accumulate, I should say, at least $1,000 a year in free groceries. And you can use it for like things like gift cards to Amazon, whatever they have in the store, independent or shoppers, you can use those points towards. So it can be really lucrative if you do it that way. Um, but I know some people can't handle having credit cards and, you know, go bananas or whatever. So obviously it doesn't work for everyone, but it's worked very well for us so far. So, okay, now we've got car and that's going to be... $200 for that. Now, this is for maintenance and gas, and I actually have some left over. I thought I wrote it down, but I don't see it here. I did, I wrote it on the wrong page. So I actually have $102 left in that budget. So from the last paycheck, so it's actually gonna be 302 that I've got there. Then my homeschool funds is the last one. I do get this reimbursed, but when I get it reimbursed, I put it back into our savings. It's actually kind of, it's going into our Disney trip savings right now. Um, and in my mind, I've already got it paid off because I know that I'm gonna get that money reimbursed. So I know that I've already got our Disney trip saved for. So $60 only is going toward it, but the next paycheck is gonna have, most of that paycheck is probably gonna go towards this homeschooling funds. If you get more curious about that, by the way, how much in funding we get here and what homeschooling is like here in Yellowknife, I'll leave a playlist down below for you so that you can check that out. I wanna clarify quickly too, if you guys um, watched any of my homeschool videos and I talk about homeschooling in the Northwest Territories, it is not the same all over the Northwest Territories. I recently learned that as someone on Instagram reached out to me, thank you so much. Um, and she told me that she's actually having trouble with the school there and they're trying to give her basically no funding or it was like $500 and it was a big, big problem. So, and they're trying to take it away. So I guess it is not like that everywhere in the Northwest Territories and I'm so sorry for that confusion. But I can tell you what it's like in Yellowknife as I do live here. So, um, yeah, I think that's everything for today as far as this paycheck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in following me for what we spend and also just breaking down each paycheck each, uh, every two weeks. So, all right, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. One more thing before I let you go. I don't think I'm gonna have a food haul this week. I'm gonna try really hard to get one of those $50 um, challenges out this week. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't think I'm gonna meal plan for this two week, these two weeks. I wanna get us walking more and so I wanna take frequent trips to the grocery store. I wanna walk well before the snow sticks to the ground um, just to get outside more because I know when the winter season comes here, we don't get outside a lot. So I'm hoping to just kind of do it randomly. Hopefully I'll get that 
done. If not, it might be a surprise video <laughs> on Friday. So just so you guys know how that's working.